All right, let's talk about Tropical Storm Gordon. This will be a big weather headline for the next 24 to 48 hours. Here's the storm right now as it moves just along the coast of Florida here. It did bring plenty of rain to southern Florida earlier, but now it's just kind of heading towards the panhandle, making a beeline for Mobile, Alabama, which is right here, and then on to New Orleans. So right now, again, just tropical storm, but look at all of this moisture. And as it moves over those warm waters of the Gulf Coast, it'll just kind of continue picking up steam. It is expected to turn into a category one storm later today. This is one o'clock central time still out in the Gulf when the forecast is for it to become a storm. And then of course, as it makes landfall, it will weaken as it loses the energy from that warm water. But still, it is going to pack a ton of rain. We're talking possibly six to eight inches. They've already canceled school in places like New Orleans for today because of the potential impacts from the storm. And this thing will just keep on trucking all the way up into the Midwest. We're talking about inches of rain possible across the Midwest, even in Nebraska, Wisconsin, places like that. We'll see rain from this storm system. Meantime, look at our forecast, the Northwest. I mean, we're struggling to even find a cloud across the Northwest, including the entire gem state. We have nice warm temperatures today, plenty of sunshine out there, almost a carbon copy of our Labor Day forecast. But here's the one thing that may change today. You see these little streamlines. This is our upper level flow where our, uh, air is coming from, the direction of our winds and all of that, straight out of the west. And what that means is we could see some smoke start to trickle back in to the gem state, both from Cal uh, fires still burning in California and those fires burning around the Medford, Oregon area. You can see no surprise here in Northern California, plenty of air quality uh, alerts in place there. But look at Medford for the first time in a long time, almost all green dots across the Medford area because that westerly flow is taking the smoke kind and wicking it away and sending it in our direction. So in particular, the Magic Valley could see some areas of smoke today, but the Treasure Valley could also start seeing that hazy horizon. But really, skies will be clear. If you don't uh, and spend your day in a spot that does see that smoke, it'll be a beautiful above average September day. We're looking at highs once again in the upper 80s. This is your hourly forecast for Boise. So by the lunch hour, perfect lunch on the patio weather, 75 over the lunch hour uh, today. That was the case yesterday as well. We spent our day out at the village at Meridian. It was perfect to be out there. And of course, today's $5 movie day at the village at Meridian. So it's a good deal to go out there this evening, especially a beautiful evening taking shape as well. It'll be warm though around dinner time with these highs up around 90 for the entire valley. 90 for Emmett today, 89 expected in Ontario, Caldwell and Boise Mountain Home may just touch 90 with some little pockets of smoke popping up here and there. Up in our mountain valleys, it'll be nice and warm and sunny. 86 for Idaho City today, 88 in Garden Valley. Beautiful in McCall, upper 70s expected there. To, uh, Cascade may just touch 80 degrees with sunshine. Mostly sunny skies in our eastern mountains as well. 78 expected for Stanley after a chilly start this morning. 80 in Sun Valley and Fairfield will enjoy 83 with light winds, but possibly some areas of smoke and more of the same for the Magic Valley. Mostly light winds out there, but some patchy smoke, especially later this afternoon. High temperatures 86 for Twin Falls, 89 expected in Shoshone today. Now today seems warm, right? Look at tomorrow and Thursday. Our heat really ramps up. In fact, we may see the 90s stick around all the way through Friday. This is unusual for early September. September. Then just in time for the weekend and that Broncos home opener on Saturday, we get back to normal. Lots of sunshine, a little breezy with a cool front, but nice and comfy with highs in the mid 80s for the weekend.